Look, in this video, I'll be showing you guys me hitting starter 4 and show you exactly all the animations and things that you get once you hit that rep. This shot right here is what makes me hit starter 4 in NBA 2K25 for me. So if you're playing a game and you're wondering exactly what animations you're going to be getting when you hit starter 4, this is the video to watch. I'm going to show you guys exactly the animation of you hitting starter 4, the animations that you get. You get jump shot animations, dribble animations, sigs, you get emotes, um, standing dribble animations, stuff like that. So continue watching and as you can see, I hit starter 4. It's cool little animations, little, little golf animation for me. Kind of plain, but as you can see, you get a large collection of my player animations and some boost. That's not what we're worried about. We're not worried about the boost. We're really focusing on the animations that you get and stuff like that. So this is just like a previous recording of me hitting it. And I immediately exited um, matchmaking to go look at what you get. So... I went ahead and claimed one of my like one of my rewards from the battle pass, and I go straight to the animations. So first thing you see right here is a whole bunch of animations added. But first, I want to go change my jump shot real quick to go go look at the jump shot. I think I had some some wrong with my jump shot, or something different. Anyway, as you can see, you get a whole bunch of different animations. You get scoring moves and playmaking moves as long as as well as some other stuff. You get Darius Garland passing style. You get Darren Fox and Tyrese Maxi dribble styles. And on both of these, the D D D Darius Garland dribble style is, is fire, bro. You feel me? Just keep Darius Garland. De'Aaron Foxes isn't really too good. The signature size ups, you get Kobe, De'Aaron Fox, Steve Francis, Darius Garland, Tim Hardaway, and Michael Jordan. As you can see, I got some of the stuff restricted because I'm on a 5'11 guard build. But I've used some of these. Oh, shit. My fault. I use some of these in um I stick with Darius Garland signature size up as well. For me, Darius Garland is is a good signature size up. It's fast. As you can see, I have the Trey Young on. But for me, Darius Garland is pretty fast. You feel me? It's, it's really quick and smooth. And it does the same moves that Trey Young one does. But yeah, I was just going through all of them, looking at them. Later, I go to the uh, artist shooting gym and try them out. So that's why I'm getting this information from. You get Michael Jordan, and then you get for the escapes, you get Kemba Walker and Trey Young. For both of these, I think they're both slower than the Stephen Curry. I just keep the Stephen Curry one on for me. So if you're, if you're thinking about using these other ones, they definitely have a good crab animation for their escape move. But I think Stephen Curry's is still the best one for the escape moves. Combo moves, you get Dearest Garland and Tim Hardaway. I think Tim Hardaway's a fast, quick one. I haven't really used it to combo and dribble moves yet. But feel me, as of right now, I have Tim Hardaway's on. And I'm going I'm to try to start cooking up with that one. For crossovers, you get the OP Giannis Antetokounmpo, which is good for any big builds. And then Dearest Fo Dearest Fox. Um, I haven't used Dearest Fox too much yet, but I put it on to see like if it's valid. For the behind the backs, you get LaMelo Ball, Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, and James Harden. I've used these, and none of these are really any faster than the Trey Young one. So, feel me, go ahead and just keep the Trey Young um, behind the back one. They had some interesting animations for those, but I'm not even going to lie. I for uh, step backs you get Stephen Curry's, De'Aaron Fox's, and Chris Paul. Um, right now I put the Chris Paul one on. I'm, I'm gonna start cooking up with it. Um, but I still think Zach Levine or um, Luka Doncic's or are like the best ones to be using. But as of right now, I got this Chris Paul one on it. You know, just see what it feel like in game. I will let y'all know. I'm gonna drop a full best six video after you hit uh starter four so for me for a post hook you get kobe post hook anthony davis and joel and bead 
Uh, I wasn't really too interested in these because I don't really do these moves too much. But they could be valid. I, I would say go test them out. But I haven't put any of those on or want to go test any of these out. I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, you get Pro 2 Fade. Um, you get Kyrie Irving Spin Jumper. And you get Devin Booker and Kobe Bryant dribble pull-ups. You get Michael Jordan's dunk style. Now, this will be fire on my build. I'll, I want to try and put this on to, like, my lock build or something. I got to try that, that Michael Jordan dunk style. And then you get a... Uh, uh, Patrick Mills jump shot. You get Pat Patrick Mills. Now Patrick Mills is a good base. It's really fast. It's 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 good for any guards that love shooting fast. But I'll make a video on that soon. All right, dribble emotes. You get taunt, and you get the wave, which are calm. You get two hand fake for the triple threat. A uh, wiggle, hip wiggle, and sit on it, which used to be used in other two Ks. But with all that being said, that's pretty much all the animations and stuff that you get once you hit Starter 4. I'm going to keep making these uh, game chat videos or, or niggas talking shit on 2K. And I'll see you guys in the next video.